you probably know it yourself. In football, there's a lot of politics, a lot of uh, conflicts. Of Their interest. politics. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, so, bro, it's too mad. So to to basically, you know, it, and people I'll, don't know. Forty two five eight here, and we're back again with another episode. This time, we've got a special guest. Um, this guy, he's 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 a history maker, really. He's the first person ever to be playing in the Premier League, born in the year nineteen ninety nine. So that's something within itself, and uh, something that I would commend you on. So today we have Jonathan Leco. How are you, bro? Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. You? Nah, all good, bro. All good, man. Obviously, uh, it's tough situations, um, you know, during quarantine. For you, this has kind of come at a, a time where um, I wouldn't say it's benefited you because, you know, obviously, you everyone wants to be playing football, but you had an injury this season. So how has that kind of, you know, um, made this for you since that? Um, the season's been kind of put on hold and it gives you time to get back and possibly um, maybe back for if, if football was to be played? Um, yeah, like, I think either way, I get what you're saying. It, it, it hasn't really benefited me because I would never have been back this season because of okay. the ACL. So it, that's automatically nine months. They don't. You can come back earlier, but the physios, they don't really want to let you come back earlier because it's a risk in it. Like, mm. with ACLs, there's a risk of um, redoing it. So, they just, like, stick to stick to nine months. So, yeah. Um, but, I've just been... Yeah, fun. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, if it's not this season, at least you can come back next season. You know, the season yeah. will start um, probably a bit later than... And scheduled, so that's, yeah, that's, that's also a plus. That's, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So the season starts a bit later, so it gives me time to like recover and um, yeah, and get back fit and try and get back stronger and that. Yeah, so um, for you, this has probably been a, a similar routine. Nothing's really probably changed for you during this time um, because you're probably rehabbing and things like that. So um, apart from Apart from rehabbing, what kind of things have you been focusing on to kind of get your mind right? Nothing really. It's just been rehab. Like, I wake up, I go, because like West Brom bought all like the gym stuff to um, my garage. So I pull it all in the garage and that. And that's all I've been doing. Just go down, wake up, go downstairs, do all my gym stuff and that, come back upstairs and sleep, man. (laughs) (laughs) It's the the best time in the the morning, isn't it? To get the the job done, like get the workouts done and everything like that, isn't it? I know. See, look, I've just found out that now. See, before I was waking up at like two o'clock, yeah? Mm. One o'clock, starting at one and then finishing at like four or five (laughs) o'clock because it's so long because the programs are long. But now I'm starting early. I'm starting at like 10, half nine. So it's a bit easier to finish and then I have like a bit of the day to chill and whatever. Yeah, I can imagine. You're probably you're probably living by yourself, right? No, I'm, I'm with my dad now. And oh, okay, my, nice. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with my dad. But he, he lives with me. I don't live with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, 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 sometimes it, sometimes um, I think it's maybe best to be like, oh, um, dad, maybe... You know, if you need that extra motivation to wake up, just just wake me up in the morning and by any means, just do anything you can to w- wake me up. I know some people, they they used to get like w- water splashed on them and things like that. Or um, I know somebody who rolls out of bed and just starts planking in the morning to just get ready for the day, innit? So. What? Yeah, that's a bit mad, fam. I can get up. It's just that I was getting up late. I was getting up at like one or two. So I kind of got used to that. But, I can get up. I can get up early. I don't. I'm not really one who struggles to get up early. I'm okay. Yeah. So apart from rehabbing, there must be something you're watching. Like, 
Netflix, YouTube, what, what are you kind of um, into? I've been watching their podcast, Hella Podcast. Um, I started of watching Gang, Gangs of, Ly- of London, Gangs of London. That's bad. Mm. Yeah, that is bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Um, yeah, just their podcast. Other than that, and their like um, movies and series and that. What what kind of podcasts are you into? Um, I just like fam. What do I like fam? I like um. I've been watching this one called uh, what's it? Half Cast Podcast. Oh yeah, yeah like, with uh, with Chucky, yeah, of course, and um, yeah, and like poet, yeah. with like Chucky and poet and all of that. I like that fam. That's that's been making me laugh. Yeah, no, they're they're good, man. They're good, and they speak the realness, and they speak for the yeah, culture. Speak, to be honest, to be honest, I was thinking of doing one, man. I think it would be lit doing a a podcast. Listen, bro. If you know, we have the platform here. If you want to, you know, do a podcast or whatever. Obviously, it's always hard, right? You probably know it yourself. In football, there's a lot of politics, a lot of uh, conflicts. Of Their interest. politics. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, so, bro, it's too mad. So to to basically, you know, it, and people I'll, don't know. Here at Forty Two Five Eight, we're proud to present you with the best football specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel and also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting 4258. Exactly, people don't know, right? They just think, yeah, they just think it's like black and white, but it's not, fam. There's there other stuff in football that people don't know about, but they think they know, but they don't. Yeah, so I, I would say, you know, um, doing a podcast, it would be like kind of conflict of interest. So you shouldn't really be speaking about your current situation, you know, yeah, uh, that's your what club I'm and yeah, yeah, but yeah everything yeah. else is good to go. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even want to do it about football. I know that's what it's like, but I wouldn't want to do it about football. It would just be about general things, just about anything. So I'm like, I had like, I had a couple questions that like, I was taking it seriously. I brought, I wrote down like questions and that. Of all asking the podcast like there. Really? Um, That's good, man. Yeah. Uh yeah, I was just thinking of how I would do it, but I don't know, man. Just I think it would be interesting to get like our point of view, like I say, like me, you know Tav. Yeah, of course, Tav, yeah. Me, Tav, me, Cole, like all my other boys just to come and talk, fam. And it could be about mm. anything. It could be about girls, it could be about mm. and them, it could be about fam, just anything. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, man. Um, yes, I think, um, you know, people, they always say that you shouldn't have two streams of, uh, you know, or two things to focus on when you're focusing on football. But I think I disagree with that. As long as you're doing your business on the pitch and when you're in training hours and, you know, focused and on the training pitch and you're putting a hundred percent in, that's all that matters, really. When you go home, you need something to take your mind away from all of that. So I feel like um, doing other things that you actually really enjoy, you know, th- those are things that, that are good for you, you know? Yeah, man, 100%, man. 100%, yeah. I agree. I think you need, you need something other than football. You can't, you can't just be football 24-7. You need to have, like, another hobby or another something else that you do on the side. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.